Hi, this is attorney Paul Pata of Paul Pata Law, where we bring justice to the workplace. A question I get a lot is, how do you win a sexual harassment case? Or what does it take to win a sexual harassment case? Now, everybody knows, or everybody should know, that it's against the law to sexually harass someone in the workplace. However, just because you file a complaint with your employer's HR department doesn't mean that the sexual harassment is going to stop. Therefore, it's very important if you want to sue for sexual harassment or you want the sexual harassment to stop, you need to make sure you're properly documenting what's happening. Despite the law stating that the employer must eliminate sexual harassment in the workplace, it may still persist even if you complain. In order to be taken seriously by your employer and in order to put yourself in a winning position if your case ends up going to court, you need to provide as much evidence as possible to accompany any complaints of sexual harassment. If you don't have sufficient evidence, you're going to find it very hard to prove your case. You know, as I often say, justice is about what you can prove, not necessarily about what's right or wrong. So what evidence do you need to prove sexual harassment? When it comes to cases of sexual harassment in the workplace, it can come in many different forms. If you're a victim, you need to do a good job keeping track of what's happening in the workplace so that you can prove your sexual harassment case. There's many different types of evidence. For example, photocopies of any emails which are sexually harassing in nature, proof of sexual harassment text messages, recordings of sexual harassing voicemail messages that might be left for you, copies of any complaints to your HR department where you're complaining about what's happening, a copy of your employer's policy on sexual harassment, and finally, any testimony from coworkers, eyewitnesses, and others who can corroborate what you're experiencing in the workplace. And then, of course, one of the best forms of evidence is photographic evidence showing the sexual harassment. There are often cases where the harasser will send text messages to the victim. Make sure you save those types of things because that is very powerful evidence in a sexual harassment case. At Paul Paddle Law, we've handled many sexual harassment cases and we've had tremendous success for our clients. We will help you present your sexual harassment case in the most powerful manner possible. It's important, however, before you engage us or any other lawyer that you put together as much evidence as you can and you document, document, document everything that's happening while it's happening. It's very hard in sexual harassment cases for a defendant to disclaim or minimize evidence when it's presented in documentary form in the form of photographs, emails, text messages. That is amazing evidence and that's what brings great results in sexual harassment cases. Call my law firm today if you need help with your sexual harassment case. At Paul Paddle Law, we bring justice to the workplace. It's not about